fired today. Right. Probably what they doing? Because I'm not doing it again. <laughs> this is crap. Here they come. Come on. Can I look one more time? Well, I think there's two separate issues. We, we, we yeah. do have some hydration stations that are already paid for, similar to Julie's home that just haven't been installed. Um, but I think it's a separate note that the water socking system is just, I think, uh, who's your plumber? What's the plumber? Uh, yeah. yeah, I think they've been up here and they go, hey, yeah, man, that just gets run by the support. Yeah. And then some kid brought water to me the other day. He's like, I think you might need some new water. And then I, I, I have a I have a flask so you can't see the color of the water so you don't know any different and yep. it tastes like water and can you donate some more hydration station? No. Oh I can get color bottles. Color bottles. <laughs> color bottles. So I can then you can't see the color of the water. Through. And so it tastes like water but it's got a brown look, right? And my own kids will tell you about the water. Yeah. But I I had to I would uh but I, but I would say and I told Is this well, iron or what? Oh, no. I just uh, I you know we gotta get we gotta get some people in here and we're gonna need a new system. Mm -hmm. But maybe over Christmas break, because yeah. uh, I'm sure we're gonna have to yeah, plumb it in with it. Yeah, yeah. No water for a day or two. Yeah, three days. Couple, couple days. Yeah. 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 Well, I also learned too with our water system that uh, I don't know, they're doing something, I guess the city of Glenwood has some way of not nitrate, but something in the water. I don't think it's sodium, it might be salt. Sulf sulfate? Sulfate. Sulfate? Something. Uh, sulfur. It's sulfur. Mm -hmm. The amount of sulfur we're putting into the sanitation system, because everybody else, I guess, in Glenwood, they have a little more handy with sulfur. They could definitely open the school back up. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they, have they blame it on the school. <laughs> yeah. So that's probably true. You start putting mm -hmm. 1,000, 1,200 people out here, you're pretty close. Probably get one with extra water. Yeah. So I, yeah, that's why I know on that. Announcements? Yeah, I originally looked at having a work session on the 5th, me on my desk. Long story short, you just need some direction here. I looked at having a work session here, but after, you know, this is our MD virtual interview that day, I put it together, but we have district advisory coming in. At some point, we really need to talk where we're at financially. Um, long story short, I mean, the recommendation that's going to come to you and sitting on my desk and you're going to have some people presenting to you is keep your taxes exactly like this. That's when you go out to the voters in like January of 24. And basically, you're going to get the, the referendum renewed, the tax budget renewed, and get $10 million uh, in a referendum. And you just have to say, do you want to do that? You know, my recommendation is we want to keep taxes the same. The only thing that's going to be different is uh, compared to the last time you went out to YouTube, the ag credit's big. 80% of what you were paying on the last one is going to get subsidized by, I don't know how they do that with the metro or how they equalize it, but somehow they take the tax burden off ag property and they equalize somewhere in the state. I don't know. The so the guy that has a cabin here but lives in Minneapolis wasn't taxed on that before, right? But now, now the way they're doing it, I think now that person lives in Minneapolis with the cabin here does get taxed on They're going to pick up a piece of that, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but, you know, the thought is, is like, you know, if you could not your homestead, is that what it is? Like if it wasn't your homestead, that cabin you got. Right, if they weren't paying taxes on it. Sounds like a really good work session topic. <laughs> well, the thought is, uh, you're going to have these people come back out, tell you what, tell you where you're at, tell you financially where you're at. Um, you know, they'll tell you what your referendum is compared to everybody else. We're actually the, the lowest referendum in our region. You know, and 
so I said for next one runs for both Tom and Van. What if we were just in the middle of a pack? What if we just did the renewal? What would be the tax impact? And then bring that on to present to you. That ain't gonna be, he ain't gonna have that ready by the fifth. And I, th I think we keep it kind of a net, you know, I think the 17th, we kind of just share back and share what we're doing. We'll talk about, hey, we're gonna have to do some things in 24, but not get really specific. Because then I think after January, when we bring everything back, that's when we all start getting dialed in on what you want to do, where you want to go, and control the narrative. You know, like, when, when are we going to learn what are those people have? That's why I really said learning? I identify like a work session on the 5th, but that's like a week from Wednesday. I, yeah. They're not going to be ready to present to you, so I don't. So they're going to present at a work session, right? Yeah. That's the plan. So yeah. let's, let's do one in. But I also two. thought this is just my take on it. Before people come in the auditorium for a board form, you have no idea what number you're going to be, where you're going to be at the same time, not to break people's time. That's all very provisional. Like, mm -hmm. you, like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So I, that's, that's a new point for right. the, the next board is going to, that's the number one thing for a year you're going to mm -hmm. focus in on. And I just think we keep that narrow till after Christmas. We get the financials maybe in December, a work mm -hmm. session in December where the youth comes in, they present everything to you. Mm -hmm. So you can start taking some action and whoever's on the board in January. Start moving forward because we do have a year from the election. Yep. Perfect. It's just my thought, and I just think that everybody's so busy in October. Mm -hmm. Why waste your time coming in on that now? I don't feel not full information. Right. So I mean, so, just have a regular just supervisor on the seventh. Potentially not being on the board anyway. Yeah. To talk to what information to to act on the information we get. Exactly. Mm -hmm. To rehash it all over. I was again. gonna say we'll have to go through it all, so all over again. All over again. Mm -hmm. So I think we scratch this. Mm -hmm. We have our district advisory at five o'clock on the 17th. So back up this Friday, party in the patio. Uh, I don't know who can make it, but great. Um, the Booster Club's gonna do most of the grilling. You're kind of help serving, but I did tell them that Jeff and Ben could do, you guys could run the grill, cook the food, you can do whatever. Help me as well. It's all gonna be catered by Minnewaski Meats. They're gonna have all the stuff and just kind of grab the bag. What time, what time you want up here? Five fifteen, five twenty. 520. So I'll have everything set up, the grill will be set up. So if you want to come anytime after yep. five, we'll be ready for you. Um, then we have district advisory, so I'll get a PowerPoint out to you. I think we probably need to have a couple, maybe small committee meetings, like personnel and stuff like that, to go over some evaluations, like all oh, the principal evaluations, so I'll work with them. Um, and then I think what we do is, you know, you get the plans from just to listen to presentation, <coughs> see if you need any tweaks. We'll try having this too. Then we don't get a lot of attendance. Then we have a regular board meeting once a lifetime. On the 24th is our board form. Okay. It's proven on point. It's really up to you. You know, I don't know. It's last time, I don't know how you felt about being in the auditorium. But it was fun. I thought it was fun. You phoned it in. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you made a statement and gave it to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you said somebody there for you. Yeah, you it's did. It's about 50-50 yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I got. Those are all the dates. Perfect. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion. Zach, all seconds, all in favor? Aye. Motion carries.